Hello and welcome back to our continuing Settlement Survival Extreme Plus 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 Redo Series. I'm Larry, it's episode 23, and I have a public service announcement. Yes, for all of you that are playing Settlement Survival, today we had an update and today is February 18th and they removed all the Chinese New Year content. So, if you are relying on rice, yes, rice, to supply food to your settlement, uh, you might want to get that changed over to, like, uh, peas, because the rice has been set back to its normal limits, its output limit. So, you are not going to get the yield that you were getting yesterday. So, if you are relying on rice... Uh, add more fields, go to peas, do something, throw more people on it. I don't know, but figured I'd let you know, plus all the recipes. So if you're doing rice cakes, which was a better food, you know, that's going to be gone. Uh, the rice wine or whatever that stuff was, that's gone. The glue pudding is gone. All of that stuff is gone. Firecrackers, no more. All of it. It's history. So, that's a good reason. Just uh, subscribe to the channel alone. I keep people informed. Yes, subscribers, they rely on me for decent information. And so, I want to make sure I make sure that all my subscribers are in the loop because not everybody checks update notes. So, there you go. Now, might want to hit that like button because since we're such a little channel it's hard for people to find the videos without people leaving comments or the like button the youtube logarithm just does not like us so only thing i can do is humbly ask that you uh like and subscribe anyway let's have fun with this okay you just saw me add people here. Now, this is a big concern because with our tailors, I just swapped them over to back to Alpaca and we only have 372. And unfortunately, we only have this single field for our flax. And that is not going to be enough to keep our mill going. Not even close. Where is the mill? I forgot. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. So, okay, Mr. Flax. I guess I will put a second person in there. And maybe, you know what? I think I better put in another one. Because I'm sick and tired of us running out of materials. Aren't you? I know I am. It's such a pain. And I don't like pains. So. We'll do that. And we will do that. Okay. Now. I do want to get rid of this area since it is in Tornado Alley. And the smarter things that we could be doing is running uh, our, well, no, I should not put any agriculture down here whatsoever. None. All of our agriculture should stay up in this corner or across the lake down here, which I have mentioned. So what we need is the other, we need the sandstorm to hit so we know exactly where things are going and it's like, really, Larry, you're asking for a sandstorm? Well, I need to know where to build. I mean, come on. So, yeah, and I was, I tell you what, I was reading some interesting things on the forums. The devs, I don't know if they can make up their mind on what's going on because one dev says, oh, the game was uh, designed for 5,000 max. And then another dev turns around and says, well, we've only hit one player with 5,000. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. What is it? I mean, they hyped that 
he played the game properly and hit the 5,000, what is it? Is it a max? Is it not? What is it? I need to know. Because <laughs> one of the goals in this game is 5,000 people. And other people are saw reading, you know, reading in the forums. They were whining. It's just like, dude, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you had 3,000 people and you couldn't go any higher, but hello, there was certain things on the game that you could have probably done that you didn't think of. It's not like they're going to give us the keys to the city and say, hey, beat our game. No, it don't work that way. But anyway, you know, that's that's the way the old cookie crumbles. So we need a couple things. We're slowly getting people to the nice number. But the problem is uh, we, we don't have what we need. So, looking at the skills. We have the bathhouse, which is good. I know we need, we need to get this up. So, that I get. But with education, we don't have books. And the only way we're going to improve our schooling for it to be faster is going to the boarding school. But that requires a whole bunch of stuff as well. I want to get into trading. And then the mining. Silver is a great option. We'll get, at the very beginning of the game, we'll get 12 silver coin for every um, nugget of silver. But they weigh five, so I can only send off 200, which is only 2,400. But if I go silver, then I'm going to need to go into trading so we can get statues. And uh, this is like hurting my noggin of which is the best way to go on this. And we're done with agriculture as far as I'm concerned. And processing, if we go into salt, then we need to go into knitting so we can get the better, better leather. So it's like, grr. And it's not like we have a ton of people to do this with. And then, to boot, look at our old people. We have 57 of 99, so they're taking up a lot of housing. So... If I don't go down and pop the nursing home, I'm in trouble. But in order to pop the nursing home, I have to get the forge. And see my dilemma here? This is like, grr. So we're going to take this one step at a time. And on our next point, I am going to get us into books. Because we really need a light of fire under our education people. And right now, paper is, it's trying to stay up. But we have so many schools going on that right now, trying to keep up with paper is like pulling teeth. And the, I'm going to have to add more stupid reed farms so we can stay caught up on this stuff and by adding more reed farms then we run into the issue of not having enough people for the mines see what i'm saying on this this is like ugh so we're going this route and i know it sounds crazy but it's like, what can you do? If, if, we, if we don't take a stand and go forward with some of this stuff, then oh, they did this to me again. I just wanted reeds here. 
That's it. Just a little bit of reeds. So what I'm going to hope for is we'll be able to dump all this stuff. It only has 5%, but I have a feeling they'll grab this pretty quick. So we just need textile materials right here. That's it. Nothing else. I don't want food over here. I'm going to add, and I cannot believe I'm going to say this, we need another uh, transfer station over here. So I am going to tack the transfer station. I wish I could put it right here. I don't think it'll fit. If it would fit, life would be good. But see, it's not going to fit. I'd have to redo the road, all that fun stuff. So I thought about putting it right here, but it's still not going to fit. So to get the best coverage out of this thing, I am going to plop it right here. But I'm still going to put a water station right here. Because now that we have durable storage, we can revamp some of our warehouses. And that's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to put that there. You know what I should put here? And I know it sounds absolutely insane. Will it fit? No. Dang it. I would love to, to get a church over here. And we're going to have to. So as this area grows up, we're going to need more churches. Or more clinics. So we'll put that there. And we'll set this to water only. Because what I'm thinking is going to happen is they're going to fill this up. And then they'll fill up the transfer station. But for now... That's what it's going to do. Because the only thing I really want the transfer station to do. And we don't have enough cut stone. So we're going to need to uh, turn the stone maker back on. And. Wow. That is definitely full. So, how much, okay, I don't have to build one just yet. Tell you what, I will put a storage, I'll put a warehouse. Ooh, you know what, I'll just put a warehouse right in here. Why not? We can do a 10 by 10. Just for now. And then once it's built, we'll destroy this one. And it'll make room for another quarry. Because now it's going to be time to start shuffling things around. And that's something I really don't want to do. But it is a necessary evil. And we need to get another nursery. So if we grow slowly and try not to go nuts, we should be able to control our growth and not run out of people. But it's going to be some serious hardcore calculations doing this. Now see, this one's already... F oh, wait a minute. The inventory's full, but I don't have somebody there. That doesn't make much sense to me. Okay. Yeah. And did we get this other one built? Yes, we did. So, let's go ahead and get both of them going, and we'll do linen. So, when our... Uh, and we'll go ahead and get... Oh, just not a lot enough reach there. We'll go ahead and get 
somebody started here to get these guys a little bit more efficient. And now that we have water coming in without a problem, life should be good. And they're doing horrible for fertilizer. It is what it is. And we'll go ahead and get this nursery going. Now, we need to get another mine going. And we still haven't done steel yet. So let's go ahead and get this one started. And I do believe I'm going to have to reactivate the sawmill. Oh, the sawmill is doing just fine. And they should be able to do it just fine with one worker. Since we're only burning 120 at a crack. And here, this is sitting at 232. Jeez, I, we got to get steel going. And this smelter, I have it paused. Matter of fact, I think I have all of these things paused. And it's about time we can reopen this stuff. We're getting people. And we need to get some of this stuff rocking. Because if we don't, we're going to be at a standstill. And we do not need to be at a standstill. We need to be growing. Okay, we have a plague coming. And let's see if... Okay, we do have the police station, so life is good. And we managed to get our health back up, so that is good. We're just shy of getting everybody clothed, so that's good. We still have some naked bodies running around. So that... Hey, we're making progress. Come on. I think it's time that we do hit books. I'm seriously thinking, just give me a sec here, but I have even thought about putting us into the landfill and, and the dig tool, but no, let's, oh, I'm probably going to pay a huge price for this. I'm going to activate the forge. And let's get some of these buildings started. Frigid winter. Click to trigger. Burn them. And we got 760 domestic fuel we don't use since we're coal powered. Yay. Okay, everybody is doing their thing. Life is good. We don't need monster numbers on this stuff, so yeah. Now let's go ahead and do the final insane act and let's uh, put in another plantation even though I want to remove everything over here. Like I said, the reason why I want to move everything from here is there's just, we're, we're just going to keep on losing stuff to the tornadoes and that's, that's too big of a pain. And with this storage yard, what's all in here? Wow. The majority of this is iron ore. Dang. That's a lot of iron ore. And we don't need the iron ore stored over there. So, where's all this iron ore coming from? Oh, it's going from the transfer station. And the transfer station's taking it up here. Because that's where everything's at. See? Th th uh, okay. 
This is why I need to do the industrial over here. So that's what we're going to do. How much housing can I get over here? Uh, we can get some. So, since we can get some housing over here, we're going to do this. Uh, plop. Oh, I don't like that. I'd like to keep that one there. Okay. So let's let's do it this way. Because I plan on all of these to be villas. Okay. That should give us enough housing for what I want us to do here. Now, hopefully we're, yeah, we're in total range of the church, so that'll be good. Now, we're going to need, uh, oh, we only have 17 people. Really have to watch how we're growing now. Okay, we need to get, uh, we need to get, what, the fuel factory over here? So, wait a minute, how big is this puppy? And what do we want to grow here? We need more food. Actually, no we don't. Why did I even build this thing over here? You know what? I'm not going to continue this mistake. Oh, I know why I built it. This is supposed to be flax. Okay. Yuck. I don't like this area. So that's an 8 by 10. So that's 10 there. So... Larger buildings can go there, but I think all of this stuff is what five by five the fuel factory, the kiln, the smelter. Oh, the forge is six by five, but I do believe that's six by five wide. So if we put them back to back, that means we can put two buildings of each in here. So let's put the road in here. And that'll be fine. And at the same time, we need to start moving stuff around. So let us... What's being made over here? Oh, we want to bring in more cactus cuts. So... How are we doing over here? Oh, we have plenty of cactus. So, how are we doing on animal fodder? Ah, we're going to need that for when we have animals. I mean, when I go to upgrade their pens. Ugh, I hate being like this. So, we will, we will do this. I want to keep this thing lined up. Oh, but yeah. Okay, so the last bit of housing gets to go in here. Let's move this over to here. Oh, it didn't insta place. Come on, I need you to insta place. Come on. Take that. 
chunk of wood out. Okay, there we go. So we can go ahead and cut this one out. And we need to put some housing over here. And I think I have a boiler over here around here somewhere, don't I? Where's the boilers? Oh yeah, boilers, plenty of room. Okay, so we need to put some housing in here. And we, I would like to be able to fit villas. And that's the reason why you keep on seeing me build three by three. Excuse me, three, you know. Okay, so that's not gonna fit. Okay, so we'll get, be able to get a couple houses in here. And in fact, let's get rid of the oil over here. No, no, okay. What we need over here is, what, a transfer station? Where's our closest transfer station? Oh, yes, I want a transfer station over here. I think. No, we'll be fine. Okay. Don't you just love the indecision? Isn't it just awesome? But that's what happens when you do things on the fly. Now, we're going to need to put a, we're going to need to start putting in corrals. And the corral is what? Eight by 10? So. There's eight, eight, oh. So it won't be perfect. But you know what? That's okay. No, it's not. Yeah. That would be better. I'm going to go ahead and build it. And we're going to ace this storage. We're going to get this done. We're going to get it done right. And we're not going to have this headache anymore. Oh, seriously? Oh, I'm on demolish. I'm here. I'm trying to get rid of a road. And yeah, that was really smart of me. There we go. Yeah, I know you're going to fill up all those other warehouses. I get it. But you know what? There has to be progress here. And you're in my way. Come on, hurry up and go. Please. Let's take the last one. Okay. This will work. We'll get it going right. So they'll get those built. Life will be good. And we're up to 32 workers, which is really good because now we have this mine, which we can go full bore on. And we will turn this one into coal as well. And I don't think, okay, that's a 37. Okay, so we have both of those running just fine. And we need to get a third coal up. So let's get this one upgraded. 
which we don't have really we don't have lamp oil or planks ugh oh yeah I guess we won't have lamp oil if uh, I don't have these things turned on now will I ah, I'm such a bonehead so let's get some lamp oil going we have plenty of fat We'll burn these two going real fast, so life is good there. And now let's address a stone is having issues. So let's go ahead and we will get this back up to five, which I'm okay with. And iron's struggling, which we knew would happen, but we can add two people over here. So that's good. See, life is turning around. It's turning around really well. So the next mine we need to work on is this is our next closest mine. And wait a minute. This is a senior mine and I have it paused. Why did I do that? I must be losing it. Okie dokie. So you know what? That works for me. Let's go ahead and... Okay. Wow, they made lamp oil really fast. Was some people like storing it in their pockets or what? Okay, we'll just cut it down to one running right now. And we will put us, we'll put three people in here. Okay, life is good. How are we doing on our reeds? Even with adding this many people to the reeds, that's where we're at. Can you believe that? And we are, where's all the water? Oh my god, we're still going through all that water? Jeez. That's insane. Okay, what happened with our clothing again? What are you out of now? We're out of up. Oh, oh. You guys are killing me. We have plenty of feathers. We have linen. Lettuce. Okay, they're almost out of alpaca. Let, let's just go ahead and get them over to uh, linen and feathers. And it's abundantly clear two cannot keep up, so we're going to have to add more. And people cannot stay warm over here. So I'm going to add a second delivery over here. And we can't have them running around naked over here. So let us. Oh, and these fish aren't doing very well either. Where are you, Eddie? Where do you live? Oh. Okay, life is good. I'm going to add people to the fish ponds. Because if we can get some food over here for these people, life would be good. And we have measles. I th think we will be fine. We're pretty healthy. 
Measles is a pain. At least it was on the Easter Island and 24 people want houses. Oh my God. Okay. We will get there, folks. Yes, we will. Okay. <sighs> but we will get it into it in the next episode. Yes, I think this is a good place to go ahead and pause this. And hopefully you're having a good morning, a good afternoon, or good evening, depending on and where you're at in the world. Hopefully you're happy, healthy, and safe because we all need to be and should be. So, I'm Larry. And you have been watching our Redo Extreme Plus Plus series. Hopefully you have subscribed to the channel and don't forget to like the episode. We got to compete against the big guys. So, I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.